All right. We're gonna get this thing driving. Welcome back to the channel guys. This week we're gonna get back onto the lifted golf cart. We got a couple things to do left to it. We gotta fix up the wiring. I gotta get the gas tank back in. We're gonna put some lights on it. And then we're gonna take it for a test drive. Spin. Mm-hmm. Last week, we got the engine mounts figured out. We got the CVT put back together and installed. So now all that's left is the simple items, the small stuff. I'm pretty much ready to throw the body back on, get all the transmission cables and everything hooked back up and get that fuel tank put back in. First, I'm gonna get this thing rolling under its own power. Then I'm gonna dress it back up and then start the lights. Let's do it. One of the things he was having problems with is he can't run this motor without the choke on, which is telling me it's, it's probably a dirty carburetor. And that makes perfect sense because I just went to install this tank and I noticed a little something sloshing around the bottom. And uh, there's a fair amount of garbage at the bottom of that tank. I mean, there's, it's, there's a lot of garbage. So... I'm going to pull this back out, drain all the gas out of it, and then hopefully try to clean some of that tank. I just won't grind near this table for a while. Gosh. Yeah. You're gonna have to clean that out. Took me a little bit of a while, but I finally got all the gunk out of this tank. So I'm just gonna put it all back together and slap it back in the cart.
cart was set up, it actually didn't have any sort of electrical protection. So I'm gonna throw in one of these six point fuse panels. These are wicked little blocks here. They got a series of LEDs. They'll tell you exactly which fuse is blown. Makes it way easier, much safer than the way it's sitting out. Cause I'm not gonna lie, it was, it was pretty close to burning down on the side of the road. So we're just gonna throw one of these in and it's gonna get rid of all the problems that we had. Just clean up the wiring way better and uh, make things a lot safer. I've come to the decision that I'm gonna pull pretty much every last bit of wiring off this uh, off this golf cart. I mean, I'm running into a lot of stuff like this, for example. That right there. That was the power wire up to something in the dash. And it's, uh, it's bare. So there's a lot of that kind of stuff here. So I'm just going to pull all of it out. We're going to upgrade that to uh, something much bigger that can carry a little bit more amps through it. And then I'm going to start rewiring everything and, and go back through because there's a lot of stuff we can clean up here. Just individual whips of wiring that are running through weird areas. So we're going to get all that stuff dealt with. Um, make this thing look a little more pretty, I think. By far my least favorite part about all of these videos. It's all the stuff that takes a really long time to do, but it's not the funnest to uh, sit there and watch. Yeah. So let's uh we're gonna take it for its first uh first startup. Just the first startup. So I wanna I mean yeah. First start. So I think ready. Prime. Here we go. great success all right so i'm gonna get the body back on i'm gonna clean up my giant mess that i've got going on up here it's the problem with the, having this big nice flat deck right here it's great for uh it's great for using as a workbench so i'm gonna clean all this stuff up and uh get the body back on and we're gonna take this thing for a drive at least before the sun goes down. Tripping hazard. All right. Yeah. That was too easy. I feel like that was way too easy.
から。Bueno. All right. So I just took it for its first little test drive, and I have to say there's some serious gearing issues I got to deal with. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna re-gear the mid drive, and then I'm probably gonna re-gear the uh, final drive sprocket back there, just so it all it all works a little bit better. But other than that, everything else works uh, works great. The fuel pumps. Delivering fuel at the right PSI. I got all the electrical all set up. It's a, it's a godly horn, eh? Um, all that set up. Starter's working good. Transmission's shifting fine. Yeah, all that's working real good. Before I destroy everything that I've done down there, I really think I gotta I gotta change the gearing on that to make it work a little bit better. So that's what I'm gonna get onto. I'm gonna pull that off, and then uh, yeah. All right. So just a queef, queef, just a queef, just to give a brief little synopsis. Synop, synopsi. Scenes. Synopsis. Just a quick idea of what's going on. Between the engine and the transmission, there's two of these tiny little sprockets, and there's not a lot of torque force that you can put onto that little sprocket that's so close to the center of the shaft. And this is causing chain stretch and, and, and destroying chains and jumping teeth. It's really, it's really not the best. So I'm going to move. To this guy, which is just the the sprocket of a, I think it's the sprocket off the jack shaft of a mini bike, but it's the five eighth bore keyed. We're gonna go with that. See how that works. And I mean, I I think I said that last time, but I really think that this is gonna make all the difference in the world. So let's get that put on. So now we have the new sprocket installed to replace that old tiny one and. All that's left is just to take this thing out for a test drive. I just took it out for a quick little spin around. It's pitch black out right now, so it's working way better. There's no issues with the chain jumping and skipping. It's running super smooth. I mean, the thing still has a ridiculous top speed um, for how tall you sit off the ground. I mean, this thing is like, it really feels like you're you're riding 10 feet above the ground. So I guess the next time you see this, it's going to be daylight and we'll be taking this thing for a rip. So let's, uh, I'll meet you there. All right. So we got it out. It's the next day. The sun is not out, but it's daytime. And we're going to take this thing to finally a test drive. 
I got most of the kinks worked out. I really want to see if all the stuff we did really made a difference. So I got a couple little trails in back. We're going to take this thing out, get it a little bit muddy, see if everything we did is actually functioning the way it should, and see what stuff we got to change. It's running really good. I mean, it's just sitting there idling fine. The fuel delivery is working great. It's not, it's not leaking any fuel yet. And uh, yeah, let's go see what we can get into. section here. Oh yeah. Let's see. Let's see if we can get her out. Let's see. Might be able to we muck up the back tires. Alright, let's see. Oh, oh we have another run! Here we go! Yes! Yes! I think that's the end of this episode. All in all, I think this came out awesome. I mean, there's just a couple little things that I got to iron out. And like I said, there's a, I got to add some brake lights, put the headrest back on and put this front cover back on. But other than that, this thing is ready to go out the door. So if you really want to see a third video, let me know in the comments. I mean, we could, we could take this out on a nice trail or take this for a run around the, a run around the area. Uh, but we have a lot more projects that we need to get done. I got the tub I got to go back to. I got a bunch of mini bikes that we have to get ready because spring is just around the corner and these things are ready to get on the track. I have a yard find. That's probably going to be the next project we jump into once we get this thing all done. So you want to stay tuned for that. If you stuck around to this point, thank you very much. Send a like or subscribe if you like the content. So thanks for watching. All right, let's get the body back on.
All right, I'm gonna get the bat. <laughs> so I'm gonna get the body back on. Get the body back on. I'm gonna get the body back on. I'm gonna clean all this stuff up, and I'm gonna get the body back on. And then I'm gonna get my body, my body back on. I'm gonna clean this mess up, and then I'm gonna get the body back on. And we're gonna take this thing for a drive.